So we'll move on to our next talk. Uh, it will be by Dr. Atul Dhawan, Head of Veterinary Services, ASGI Hospital, Kanpur. He will be talking about application of macular massage and chromovisc technique in macular hole surgeries. Thank you, Dr. Dhanshri, ma'am, and uh, as an organizing committee for this invitation. And today I'm going to talk about the chromovisco and the macular massage in macular hole surgeries. So after the lectures of so many stalwarts, I, this is the reason why I'm here. I'll take this lecture in question answer session and we will decode the macular hole just like Dr. Avinash Patanjay sir do. So question number one, is this the resting stage of macula? The answer is a big no. There is a constant tug of war going on at the fovea. Centripetal force of the foveal Muller cone cells are there and which are opposed by the centrifugal forces of nerve fiber layer and anterior posterior forces of the partially detached vitreous. At this time, centripetal force are more, that's why the fovea is intact and U-shaped. Now, how the macular hole form? Macular hole form when centrifugal force increased and it increased more than the centripetal force. So the macular hole forms, which is preceded by the foveal pseudocyst. The third question is, what is the response of retina for this macular hole? The response of the retina, there are two types of specialized foveal Muller cells are there. One is foveal coal Muller cell, the other one is foveal wall Muller cell. As soon as the, fo the full thickness macular hole forms, the foveal wall Muller cells start concentric contraction. This concentric contraction leads to the approximation of the inner edge of the full thickness macular hole where still the foveal cone Muller cells are there. They are just like fevicol or the glue. Later on, they join each other and with the contraction of the foveal wall Muller cell, there is centripetal movement of the foveal of the photoreceptor which leads to the hole from out inward to the outward direction. Now we'll take this case, one, uh, this is the pre-op RD case. After one week, everything was fine. After two months, a spontaneous hole opening was there. At that time, I have decided to wait and watch. And uh, I am peeling at the time of the SOR. After 3.5 months, you can see the glial sheet is there and hole closer started. And this is a two years post-op, spontaneous closure of the hole and the vision is six by nine and six in this case. So the next question is why not all the holes close spontaneously? There are three reasons. One is the hole is so large that the approximation of the inner edge is not possible. The, the second one is centrifugal force of the ILM and the ERM is more than the centripetal force. The third one is the combination of both. So how can we help the retina as a best friend? We have two options remove the tangential traction, which is by ILM peeling or the macular massage, close the hole artificially by putting ILM flap, amniotic membrane, retinal tissue, whatsoever is there. Just close the hole, form an artificial glial sheath, and the hole will close spontaneously. For this, I have developed a technique that is called a SCAP, which is color visco-assisted ILM flap placement technique. The principle of any flap in uh, macular hole surgery is, first is how much the flap should be, how much big the flap should be. The second one is how to make a proper flap. The third one is how to keep the flap over the hole till the end of the surgery. We will take one by one. How, if we will take two glass plates separated by a thin layer of water, and we want to separate these two plates, we have to apply some force. This force is directly proportional to the area of contact. So if the area of contact is large, then the natural force should be more. The application here is, if our flap is large, the chance of spontaneous displacement is less. So we should not be miser in making the flap. The second one is how to make a good flap. So the first video is a small one. This, these are the three layer, one is RP, the second one is neurosensory, and the third one is the ILM. Now, how to make a flap? Make an imaginary line of 200 degree. Make a small cut circumferentially. Later on, just join these cuts.
Now, how to place the flap over the hole? From one margin, take out the flap and place the flap from one to other side very easily. The third question is how to keep the flap over the hole till the end of the surgery. So place a, temp place a temporary viscoelastic, temporary tamponade by viscoelastic, colored by brilliant blue or any other thing, and you can do it easily. Just place the viscoelastic, tilt the eye toward the disc, do the fluid air exchange, the flap will be there over the hole till the end of the surgery. Now we'll take a real video. Now what is CAP? CAP is colored visco assisted ILM flap technique. Now how to color the visco? We color the visco with the help of one drop of the brilliant blue. This is normal brilliant, brilliant blue we are using in the macular hole surgery. Now this is 180 degree ILM flap, 550 micron hole. Just make the flap, initial cut with the finish loop. Start peeling from one side, be very gentle. Place the flap over the hole and support this flap with the temporary color viscoelastic. Later on you can take out all the viscoelastic because of its blue color. U-shaped closure is there. We have done a study, 30 eyes, 29 eye hole was closed. You can see re-establishment of ELM from day seven to six months. It has gone from no or partial site to partial or complete site. That means the hole is closing from inner to the outer side. The same is happening in the ellipsoid zone, but it is less. So ELM close first, then ILM close in ILM flap surgery. We have found out if the thickness of fovea is more, then the chances of vision improvement is more. The second one is the macular massage. This is around 550 to 700 micron hole. The aim is relax the retina towards the center. This is the small video. It started by Alpatov, then modification by Dr. Manish, then me and Dr. Debulal started the same technique using of this silicon tip canna for relaxing the ILM towards the center. In this case, you can see pre and two years post-op of the macular hole. We have published this, and my result, we have done two, 12 cases till last year. Average, thickne, average minimal hole diameter was 590 micron, 11 type one closer, one type two closer, and seven cases had more than two line vision improvement. Now, the conclusion of everything is, our aim is not just closer of the OCT, the whole closer on the OCT, but functional result also. And for that, we have to be the best friend of the retina. The three main aims are minimal intervention, minimal surgical trauma, easy and reproducible surgery, which everyone can do. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Atul, for the innovative technique.